Looks like a house, feels like a house, but there's something a little different about it. It was built using a 3D printer, with construction taking a fraction of the time. And it could well be the answer for the many people desperate for a home to call their own. Kelly is her mum Sandra's full-time carer. Sandra, an Indigenous woman living with multiple medical conditions. She can't think for herself, she can't bathe herself, she's just, because of the lungs, she can hardly breathe. So, yeah, that's my full-time role. They're homeless, right now staying in emergency accommodation in Sydney's southwest. They've been on the New South Wales Housing Register for two years. And if we were to choose areas that, that can accommodate mum's needs, it's a 30-year waiting list and that's Camden. But this... 3D building technology could be a game changer for people like Kelly and her mum. 3D homes are built faster, cheaper and sturdier. Contour 3D is the company behind it. It manufactures its own printers, materials and software. Founder and CEO Nick Holden. So it is very much digital construction, automated construction. The printer pours layers of special concrete mix, one after another, in long swirls. Our material that we have here is 40% recycled. It uses a lot of uh, waste materials that would normally go to landfill. Nick says his product is not only better for the environment, but stronger and cheaper. It's a concrete house, so have a 100-year design life. It's built for longevity. And we are seeing around about a 20% overall saving in the whole build at the moment. The build revolutionising traditional construction methods. So it took us 15 days uh, to 3D print the walls. There was 140 tonnes worth of our material to go in here. But innovation hasn't stopped at premium homes. Here in Dubbo, Western New South Wales, something socially transformative. The first ever 3D printed social housing project Two modern, two-bedroom properties will soon be home to social housing tenants. The first of its kind build was a partnership between Aboriginal Sustainable Homes, Contour 3D and the New South Wales Aboriginal Housing Office. It can take up to 40 weeks to build a home using traditional construction methods. We can get that down to 16 weeks using 3D printed technology. New South Wales Minister for Housing, Rose Jackson. So it's a big catch-up job. We need homes and we need them quickly. That's why 3D printing and housing is so exciting to me. So to construct all the structural walls, uh, as you see here, you know, really it's a team of three or four people and the most important guy on the site is the guy with the laptop. Stylish homes or a necessity. Nick passionately believes this way of building is the answer to quickly delivering homes for those who need them now. I'm hoping that we can uh, sort of push forward with the New South Wales government for a pilot program for more affordable and social housing. Houses need to be built. We're going to be here for months and months and months and we still have to pay to be here anyway. I just want a base behind, a place that I can call home. Yeah, and we really hope that Kelly and Sandra soon find a place to call their own.